Hey guys, welcome back. And as you can see here, we are taking a look at two of my adult lightning pies. These are my two females that laid clutches for me this year. This girl looks like she's going in a shed a little bit because she is turning pink, as you can see here on the white part of the pied. So I'm gonna put her away, but this girl still is looking nice and bright right now. She just had a nice meal this week. And I wanted to highlight lightning pies in this video um, they've been a big part of my collection for the last few years. And I had a giant year creating lightning pides. And lightning pied had clowns and triple recessives in this project. And there's still one big thing missing from lightning pies. From this whole project for me. And that is shed testing. So at the top of this video, I want to make this... Uh, information available charlie at shedtesting.com needs a handful of sheds from visual mj xanthic pides visual lightning pides uh, so please send them to him all you have to do is pay for postage put it in the mail to him get the information from him shedtesting.com you can find him on instagram if you have an mj xanthic doesn't even matter if it's pied just as long as you have an MJ Xanthic snake, and it wasn't from me, um, send him a shed from it. It'll help us get this shed. Uh, he he said sequenced. I don't know how any of that works. Um, but he said he, to get it sequenced, he needs more visual MJ Xanthic snakes. And preferably ones that aren't from any of the snakes that I've produced. So if you have them from me, um, probably not going to help much for what he's trying to do. But if you do not have MJ Xanthic stuff from me, please send him your shed tests. It'll help us get this process done. I probably at least have a dozen or more snakes that are poshet MJ Xanthic that I need to get tested. And I know there's a lot of other people out there. There's a lot of people that have purchased snakes from me in the last uh, probably 12, 18 months that have clown head pies, pos head MJs, or uh, double head pos MJ. Um, so there's a lot of people out there that need this shed testing done too, but I know it's very important to me and my projects because I'm starting to produce clown pies that have it. I have a bunch of clowns from last year that are head pied and pos head MJ that need the testing done. So it doesn't cost you anything other than a stamp to do this. Um, if you have a visual MJ Xanthic snake, doesn't matter if it's pied, doesn't matter if it's clown, uh, doesn't matter if it's just a plain MJ Xanthic if you have sheds, please send them to charlie at shedtesting.com so we can get this process done so we have the test available to us. Then I'll show you some of the animals as to why I need this done. Um, let's see here what we got going on. So I am having these clown pies all start to shed right now. Unfortunately, the best looking male here didn't shed yet, but everybody else did. This dude already took a bite of me. Clown Pied Pos Het MJ. Uh, I believe this is the OD Blade Clown Pied Pos Het MJ male that hopefully he turns out being Het MJ because he's actually would probably end up being the best double visual Het that I have available because I think he's the only one I have that has two genes in him, two codoms. And this, I believe, is the OD Clown Pied Pos Het MJ female. Uh, she actually did just shed out and she looks wonderful. I'm keeping her no matter what, but if she turns out to be at MJ Xanthic, uh, that's fantastic because then she helps me make uh, super OD lightning clown pied sometime in the future. So that's what's going on there. Um, let's look at the rest of these snakes that I have that I can't test yet. Uh, this girl actually had it for sale briefly and I took her down and I don't know, I'm kind of on the, on the fence with her. OD Pied, 66% uh, Double Het MJ and Clown. I actually have her shed sitting right here because I really want to test her. I have this beautiful girl that I produced a couple months back that is Clown Het Pied, Pos Het MJ, that needs some shed testing done. This male here, I believe he's an OD Leopard. Clown Het Pied, Pos Het MJ Xanthic. And let's look at some of the older snakes that I produced from last year that I do not have. Let me 
back out last in here. Alright, we got a pastel lesser leopard clown head pied. Poss head MJ right there that we need to test. Although I'm probably thinking that by the time those tests are available, uh, I will probably have proved her out hopefully by then. This is one of my favorites. So I don't know exactly what this is. I, I believe, so there was um, pastel leopard OD and blade in the mix here. I think it's uh, potentially pastel OD blade leopard mix. Obviously there's not lesser in there, but she's getting really big and she is um, head pied, post head MJ xanthic. I'm gonna keep her no matter what because I love the way she looks. Um, but she is obviously going to go into two different projects depending on whether or not she's MJ Xanthic. This big feisty angry girl, same thing. She is a Pastave clown, het pied, pos het MJ Xanthic. And I actually have one male that I kept from last year that I am actually don't even know what he is either because, again, crazy mixture here. I think uh, he's definitely Mojave. You know, he's definitely Pastel. And there's also OD and Blade in the mix. So he might be a foraging animal that's kind of like unique. Uh, he, clown head pied, pos head MJ. Where's your head at, bro? He's breeding size. So you can see his little head there. He's got the nice little blue eyes. Uh, he's really cool looking. He aged pretty well too. So he's, again, one of my snakes that I can't shed test yet. And this is the other female. This is the... Uh, the Snake Limited logo female. Uh, she's very similar to the other snake as well. Um, that I said was potentially pastel, Odie blade, and leopard. Although, I'm not sure there's leopard in this mix. I think she's probably just a pastel Odie blade. I think this, is a, I think this was the Odie blade pied double head clown MJ bred to a pastel clown possible yellow belly. So I, what I think she is is a pastel OD blade. I think the other one would be a pastel OD blade leopard. Um, but she's really big too. She is het pied, 100%, and posset clown. Actually one of my favorite snakes that I produced last year. So I have uh, those five bigger snakes that I'm definitely holding back that I need to test for um, MJ Xanthic. I have, let's see... I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I produced that hasn't been tested yet for MJ Xanthic. I think that's it for the MJ stuff. So, but I have, so those five that I already have from last year that are basically a breeding size almost, a um, couple hundred grams off, I have these three clown pieds from this year, plus there's actually two other snakes in that clutch that I will not be keeping, uh, these two pieds here. So they're pied head clown. Um, I believe the one on the left is OD or blade. This right one's funky. This is the one that I thought was a clown when it came out of the egg, or when I cut them, because of how crazy the pattern is. Uh, it's a very, very crazy looking pied. Um, it made me even think there for a minute that it was maybe yellow belly, but I, I didn't have yellow belly in either parent, so I don't know about that. But these two will be available. Um, I'd like to be able to test them for MJ Xantha too, but I don't see it happening before the time those guys are ready to move out. So they'll be sold as pied head clowns, pots head MJs. Um, but forever, whoever buys those two snakes or one or both of them, uh, they're going to want to be able to test for MJ somewhere down the line too. And I have a, I know I have a lot of customers from last year that have that. So um, let's do a quick run through of all of the MJ pied stuff that I produced and everybody ate yesterday. Ooh. And we got a shed and a poop in there. Um, so she's looking big and bright now. Had a big meal. I'm glad she actually ate in shed. This girl here had a nice meal yesterday. Some of them are going to frozen thawed, some of them aren't. Now these three girls are my lightning pied het clown females. I got really lucky with them last year. This is Thor. He's my only male that proved out to be lightning pied pet clown so he's my holdback and he's taking frozen thought and eating like a, like a like a king and here's the girl with no eyes who i believe is the od blade she is a lightning pied pet clown as well um she's eating like a champ sometimes i need to leave her food in with her overnight for her to get it 
She took Frozen Thawed once, but not consistently, but she is eating every week, so I'm happy about that. Um, so those are all the Lightning Pides. Actually, let's see. This guy is getting shipped out tonight from uh, to, uh, to Alan. He's in my Patreon. I believe his name is Priceless Python, so take a look at him. He's going to be getting him... He'll probably be picking him up from FedEx by the time this video posts. Um... And the last one here is this dude who took a ginormous frozen mouse yesterday. This is the OD Blade Lightning Pied, not Het Clown. Um, he is still available, uh, and he's paired with a female, but man, look at that. He's probably, I would assume, close to 250 grams at this point. Well, well on his way, but a big boy growing big fast, and hopefully, uh, hopefully he finds a new home soon because he is still available, but... Those are all of the lightning pies that I produced last year. So there's some really cool animals. Obviously, I have a ton. I kept uh, so I kept back five double visual lightning pied het clowns from last year, and I also kept back three more females that were pied 100% double het MJ Xanthic in clown. So I have a total of like 1.7 that I kept back from last year that I can guarantee or triple recessive genetics. Um, and then I had these two more males. Uh, I, I did sell a male already. I have these two males left. So it's a big project. Um, I know there's a lot of you out there that are probably waiting for the test as well. I think Charlie said uh, from shedtesting.com that he had a bunch of GCR tests as well. But he... And we know that GCR and MJ are compatible, but we still do not know if they're the same gene. So that's what he's trying to figure out, which is why he wants a bunch of more visual MJ Xanthic sheds so that he can definitively say whether or not they're the same or whether or not they're different. So if you have visual MJ Xanthic, not hets, not possets, visual MJ Xanthic sheds or snakes, wait for their sheds and grab them. And they're not from my lineage of stuff that I've bred and sold. Uh, please send them to him. Please hit him up on Instagram. Uh, please check out his website, shedtesting.com. And get those sheds to him ASAP so that we can get the ball rolling on the shed testing thing. I appreciate it. And I'm sure he does too because I know in my Patreon group, um, we're basically pestering him once a week. Oh, so what's going on with the test? When are you going to have the test coming out? When are we getting that test? Um, and I'm sure he just wants to get it out there. And I'm sure he wants to take my money because I have um, those three. I'd like to test that female over here, the bigger one that I'm been on the fence about selling. So that's four. I have these four. That's eight. I have that girl over there, nine. I have at least nine Post Hat MJs that I personally have in my collection. There's the other two hatchlings that I produced. Whew, excuse me. Uh, from this latest clutch that if they're still here by the time that test is available, I'll probably test them too. So I have at least 10 uh, as of right now that I'll need to test, and I'll probably have more. Um, so let's get those shed tests to him. I appreciate it if you do have them, sending them in, and so does Charlie. Um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I think tomorrow, hopefully that clown pipe clutch is shed out all the way so I can, like, that'll probably be tomorrow's video. And then hopefully after that, soon after that, the DG Clown Clutch is shed out too. We can take a look at those guys. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.